Hello, I'm Angela Wamboy, and here's the news in two minutes. The High Court in Mombasa has lifted a ban freezing bank accounts of Haki Africa and Muhiri, which were listed as having associations with terror groups. The order was issued this morning by Justice Anyara Amukule, who had ruled that the state had failed to demonstrate sufficient reasons to freeze the accounts. He has also nullified a Gazette notice that associated the two human rights organizations to terrorism. Justice Emukule ruled that the prosecution did not provide sufficient evidence to prove that the two organizations were involved, facilitated, or supported terrorism activities in any way. The state has indicated that it will be appealing the ruling. The Kenyan military has denied allegations of involvement in illegal sugar and charcoal smuggling racket in Somalia. Military spokesman Colonel David Obonio says their soldiers have always acted professionally in fighting al-Shabaab militants in the lawless country. Obonio says that the report is ridiculous by suggesting that soldiers are doing business with al-Shabaab while at the same time fighting them. The report released on Wednesday night is based on investigations carried out by Nairobi's Journalists for Justice Rights Group, which interviewed United Nations officials, Western intelligence sources, sugar traders, porters and drivers. It also accused Kenyan troops of widespread human rights abuses including rape, torture and abduction, and conducting airstrikes targeting crowds of people and animals rather than the militant training camps it claims to bomb. In the world of business, Kenya Airways posted a net loss of 11.9 billion shillings in the half year ending September 2015, marking a 14% drop from 10.4 billion shillings the same half last year. KQ CEO Buvin Gunze says the narrow drop was attributed to short-term financing challenges, foreign exchange loss of 4.8 billion shillings, and a one-off restructuring cost of 4 billion shillings. The increase in the losses are despite huge improvement in operating fuel costs, which dropped by 37% from 21 billion shillings to 13 billion shillings. Fuel costs led to operating losses reducing by close to 8.2 billion shillings from 10.4 to 1 billion shillings. Going forward, the airline plans to stop hedging and will henceforth just unwind the current book. Beginning next week, the airline will embark on a turnaround plan that will involve converting half of the short-term debt of 25 billion shillings to long-term debt, among other initiatives. For more on these and other stories, make sure you like and subscribe on our YouTube channel at Capital FM Kenya.